So now being a meteorologist, we'll see what meteorologists are actually looking at. So here we have a map of the United States, and it's looking at the cloud cover. So they can tell, all right, there's some clouds in the southern United States. There's definitely a huge swamp there. And so they go, okay, well, what can we analyze with that? So the next thing they might look at is, all right, let's look at the temperatures. And wow, that looks rather similar to that sheet that I gave you earlier that you were connecting the dots with, except that instead of just using lines, using the um, isotherms, the meteorologists here just use color regions. So they went, all right, we can look at the colors. We can see where it's warmer, where it's cooler. And so those colors give us an idea. And you can see how the lines kind of connect and move around. Then they go, all right, now that we've got those temperatures, let's look at dew point instead. So to look at dew point, that actually looks rather similar to ours. It shows that it's very high dew point in the southeast of the United States. That means it's pretty warm, very humid. And what do you think? That might be where there were storms. And remember, that's where we saw the clouds were. So let's look at now how much change has gone on recently. So they have only the change from the temperature, but you can see it's gotten warmer across the Midwest. It's gotten cooler over in Oregon and down in the south. So that's showing how much the temperature has changed recently. So they are looking at change and looking at all of these things together. Because then they go and they look at the radar. And then that's showing you this is where we have rainstorms. Rainstorms are coming all the way through Alabama, um, Georgia. So the, that region, Mississippi, that region is getting a lot of storms right now. And why do we think that is? So actually looking back at the classic map shows us a bit better. Look at that. There's a front going through there. We've got a stationary front and a warm front mixing together. But this areas of low pressure, this, con this maritime tropical air is warm and moist. There's a front. That's where there's a lot of change going on. And that's where we have storms. So meteorologists aren't just looking at one map. They're looking at all of this different data, all different map, layering them all together to go, what can that help us learn about what's going on? Let's see, any severe alerts? Any severe areas of weather right now? Well, not too bad. So that's how meteorologists, they have to take the whole picture and all the data and collect it into one place. And that is what a meteorologist does.